to my post-grad morning routine. I'm getting our morning started with a little bit of skincare as we always do. I'm going through this video vlog style. That's kind of like my favorite way to film, just like we're two besties hanging out. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along for what my morning routine is. I graduated college in May, so I am coming up on like eight months-ish out of school. I am self-employed and I try to kind of create a normal structure to my day as if I had a typical job. I try to keep me accountable to doing all my different work tasks and things. Also, all I've done before I turn this camera on is throw on this little workout outfit so we can get right on with it and I threw my hair up in a bun. So that's the vibes. I felt tan last night. You notice my skin looks like really uneven. It will look better with makeup on, but yeah, you know, you know. All right, let's throw some lip balm on, throw some deodorant on, and we always start the morning off with a walk. Oh, the other thing I didn't show you guys, I feed my pets like first thing when I get out of bed because they're usually like ready to go when I wake up. So yes, all right, let's put my men's deodorant on because your girls are too sweaty to use girl deodorant and let's go put all these harness on and take them on a walk and get our day going. Today's going to be an amazing day. All right, besties, I'm back from walking Ollie. I was listening to Go Call Your Sis on my walk. It's always the best way to start the day because it just like guarantees fresh air, which is such a nice part of being a dog mama. But now we're gonna get ready to go to the gym, which is pretty simple. I just make a little pre-workout. I've been using this blue slush. It does give me like that like fuzzy feeling a little bit. So I will give a disclaimer to that pre-workout, but it does taste delish. So we're going to make a bottle of this and then we're going to head to the gym. I work out in my building, all my like amenities. I use in the morning are in my building which I will say like I feel like save so much time with my morning routine and allows me to like get so much more done so much quicker because I don't like waste time driving and stuff which I really appreciate so yes next up we're gonna get a workout in because on the days I don't work out I have like half the productivity I have on the days that I do work out update time i just got home from the gym i always like dance it out when i first get home with my pets so that's what i've been doing but the workout was great sauna time was great the babies are playing so they're being a little hey 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 but yes as i was saying sorry they get a little bit excited when i get home and they start acting like crazy but yes the workout was great i'm feeling myself i listened to my little empowerment songs my moment read my book in the sauna i also love to elevate my legs and lay upside down and like set my intentions set my mindset for the day kind of like forcefully pull out the like negative thoughts that i've been like fixating on and try to release them so yes we need a body shower because we're sweaty but first things first we're gonna make our bed so that when we get out of the shower the apartment's all clean so let's do that first ollie sometimes makes it a little hard to make my bed because he likes to be involved but you know you know, you know, you know. Can I make my bed? Is it time for me to make the bed? Can you get off the bed for a little bit? He's just like me for real. Alright, let's take a shower so we can get our day going. Alright, besties, update time. I just hopped out of the shower. Stormy wants to say hello. Hi, baby. So, this next part kind of depends. Sometimes I do breakfast in a smoothie. Sometimes I just want to drink water. And sometimes I want a coffee. And this morning, I am wanting a coffee. Especially because I'm just going to have an early lunch today, I think. So, we're going to skip out on breakfast. It kind of just depends on how I'm feeling. I feel like it depends on, like, what I eat before bed. Like, what my blood sugar is. If I am in the mood for breakfast or not. But we are going to make a little coffee. I'll show you guys how I'm making my current favorite coffee mix and also before I like do my hair and makeup for the day I typically get my planner out which we're gonna do I like to kind of like hourly plan out my day ish being self-employed you can accidentally waste a lot of time if you don't have a schedule and like plan for yourself so I try to do that like 
first thing when I get back home and I also like to do emails because I obviously don't need to be like ready for those and I just like to get them answered early in the morning so that if a company is going to get back to me the same day they have like more of a chance to do that look how cute she looks right now all right let's make my coffee I'll show you guys my current favorite at home recipe it's chef's kiss all right so at home coffee right now first up i've been loving the starbucks blondie pods so so yum this nespresso machine is from amazon it is the nespresso brand but it's like an older edition so let's put this in here let's see if i have water in the back of it okay we're gonna need a water refill all right get this going Right, let's get the supplies out. You guys can see I have quite the creamer lineup right now. One of my favorite combos is this Chobani sweet cream coffee creamer with some of this pink frosting Mean Girls creamer with whole milk. But today I think I'm going to do vanilla with a little pink since it's a Valentine's love month coffee. And we also need some whole milk because I like lattes. I've been listening to the What We Said podcast while I like shower and stuff this morning. And can I just say, living alone, like having podcasts on in the background is just elite. It just is. Also ignore, I'm still working on the resolution of having a clean sink in the morning. Um, we'll get there someday. But yes, I love like What We Said. I love like duo podcasts like Gals on the Go where two people are chatting. I feel like it's just like elite vibes for being a living alone girly because it feels like you have a company. But okay, I just add milk to almost the top for my lattes. These are the glass cups. I've showed them in my vlogs before, I believe, but they are from the Target Dollar section and Target Dollar section has been chef's kiss lately, popping off. Okay, and then we do mostly the vanilla Chobani creamer. I didn't leave quite enough space as I usually do on top, but that's okay. Actually, let's take a little, a little pour out of it. Beep. Okay, that's good. All right, there's a little more room. So. It's like a vanilla pink latte. So a nice little swig of that. And if I taste it and I want it to be sweeter, I'll just add more. And then I do just top it off with the pink creamer. And it is actually pink, which I think is so fun and so V-Day. So yes, I'm gonna grab a straw. Let's plan out our day while we sip on our morning coffee and do our emails. And apparently give Stormy some love because she's an involved queen. <laughs> So it has been like an hour and a half. So my morning obviously kind of is like slower, but that's because for that like hour and a half, I go in on doing all my emails. I reach out to brands. I do a lot of like the work stuff that doesn't involve like me being in any content, if that makes sense. It kind of just gets me like motivated and excited for the day and feeling like I'm on track. But now I'm taking a little break to get ready because I do have some content to film today. I tried to do like a light makeup look even if it's a day where I'm not going to be like seeing anybody or making any videos or anything just because I know it makes me feel more productive and just overall it does make me feel a lot better and I definitely like figured that out figuring out how to create like structure and what works and what doesn't being self-employed after college was a lot harder than I expected it to be and I recently had a conversation about this that just made me feel like a lot less alone so I kind of wanted to open the conversation up on YouTube if anybody else watches my vlogs and my postgrad figuring things out is harder than I expected and I think most people expect to feel especially especially me which we're gonna get into i think we're just gonna chat while we do my makeup but if you have any questions about the steps i'm doing while we talk comment down below and i always reply to my comments so i'll get back to you but along the lines of discussing like post-grad and figuring out what works and what doesn't if you aren't new to my journey here i have been doing youtube for seven plus years so a really long time i have been sharing my life with y'all and for a really long time this has also been my job and i'm so grateful for that it literally like changed my life in college and just like my college situation would have looked a lot a lot different had i not had youtube both happiness level like job level like in every single way youtube has done so 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 much for me that i'm so forever grateful for but in college i was obviously being a student and i was doing this and this was my like full-time job my main thing my income source but i also at the same time was doing school and like had an identity in school 
all throughout growing up school was never something that I like fully fully thrived in or like I was always a very average student like I wasn't a bad student but I wasn't this like you know go getter when it came to school I kind of like more loved focusing my energy on YouTube and got by in school and did decent like I still graduated with honors but I wasn't like you know all my passion wasn't towards school or my major or anything like that i honestly more so went to college along the lines of i don't know what i really want to do but i know i love to work in this creative field and i wasn't ready to go to the real world when i graduated high school and so i was like okay college makes sense so that's kind of like how i ended up like going if that makes sense i honestly like didn't know what i wanted but okay so with that I expected as soon as I graduated to just feel so like I was exactly where I needed to be and just just feel everything to be good if that makes sense and I think obviously that's a very like romanticized way of thinking because life is never going to be like completely perfect but I didn't expect to feel like a little bit lost and like confused and just like the self-doubt that would come with doing like self-employment completely full-time all day on completely relying on myself without the title of student with that which is odd because I was like self-sufficient financially in college if that makes sense so it's not like graduating college changed that factor where I mean I do have some more expenses out of school but it's not so insanely different financially wise especially because like i'm not also paying for school so i think like paying off like some of my student loans kind of equals out to what i was like paying up front for school so it's not like my financial situation has been much shifted so much especially since like i can still be on my parents insurance and all that sorry i'm really getting into this topic but it's just been on my mind lately and i don't know if any of y'all are like going through the same thing i think like even if you have a typical job you probably relate to this where you get really sick and tired of studying in school and you're like as soon as i graduate everything's just going to be better like i'm going to have a job that i love whether that's self-employed or working for someone else and i'm going to feel like i have all the answers and i'm going to be done being confused and that's just like not how I've completely felt after school. I feel like I have a lot of like highs and lows of feeling like, oh my gosh, how is this real life? I'm so happy. In phases where it's not like I'm unsatisfied or unhappy with what I'm doing. I just don't know if it's enough and I get in my head about it and I'm like, how long will this last? Am I doing enough? Am I successful enough? Is this sustainable? Just like all these thoughts going through my mind. And I know even if I worked a job, I have worked job and I also feel that way. So it's not because like I'm self-employed. And that's why I wanted to talk about it because I know a lot of you probably do work for someone but I think this is more common feeling than I was at first realizing but I just yeah I've, I've been struggling with that lately self-doubt and like not sure if I'm like doing enough and just like I don't know I've just been dealing I don't know how to describe the feeling but just like a little bit lost even though I'm doing a job that like this is my favorite thing in the world I think my fear of like it not working out and things like that like have just been getting in my way and I just kind of want to release that negativity and that's something that I'm working on I'm trying to document me like working on that over on TikTok and you know I just want to feel like I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be because I know that's true and I know that this is exactly where I'm supposed to be but for some reason I didn't really acknowledge when I was graduating that you know even if school had never been my thing that had been such a big part of my identity and stuff for my entire life up till this point and so now figuring out life without being like oh well, i do all this and i'm so proud of myself because i'm doing all this and i'm also a student now this is just what i'm doing i also have recently opened up a social media management company that i have been like putting a lot of my energy into and i love doing social media and i love doing things with brands and creating content for brands to use user-generated stuff i have a lot going on at the same time if i have like one slow week i start to panic and spiral and that's not something that i went through as much when i was in college because it didn't feel like it had to be i had to have all the answers but this all to say the realization i've come to this week is take each day day by day if y'all are going through this it's a lot better to make a to-do list that you can actually successfully complete because if you create a to-do list and you do everything on it no matter what the self-doubt in your mind tells you you are doing enough you are completing what you need to be doing you're staying on top of your tasks so staying on top of that creating a positive routine like having this morning routine especially being self-employed has helped a lot but even when i was working for a company it helped me to create like my own separate life from work so 
positive routines have been so helpful and just taking it day by day and being like today i'm putting my passion into everything that i want to be doing and see how it goes today and stop worrying so much about the future because i feel like just post-grad the future has consumed so much more in my mind and i'm like oh i need to start worrying about retirement and all these crazy things i don't know if this rant is making sense and there's not a huge conclusion to it besides the fact that right now my main goal is trying to focus on working as hard as i can to keep creating this possibility of this being my job because it's what i love so much and i don't think anything else is ever going to feel for me the way that youtube feels for me i love doing this and i love creating videos and having the time to make content that I love for you guys. My focus is on working really hard to keep this my reality because I love it so much. And number two, to find like contentness where I am and not always like panicking about the future or like wondering if I'm doing enough and just doing enough each day and taking it as it is and keeping this real with y'all. Cause I feel like post-grad, I haven't talked about this a lot and I think a lot of my videos probably create the illusion that like I have just felt like I had everything figured out after school and that's just not the case I'm figuring things out as I go it hasn't even been a year since I graduated so I'm just like learning to have grace with myself and doing our best so yeah sorry that wasn't like a totally motivational pep talk it was more just me being vulnerable because that's been like something that's kind of been hard for me to talk about so I've just been like figuring out my feelings about this and like trying to figure out where my self-doubt's coming from and i think it's the fact that all of my like energy and everything is just this right now and my like work identity is just doing this right now and so if i have a slow week or i don't you know feel like i'm accomplishing anything huge for like a few weeks span i start to like panic and spiral but also like that is just like part of the ebbs and flows of business and life and yeah so if any of y'all relate to this, I guess this rant was worth it. I know it was a little bit personal, a little TMI, but I just wanted to keep it real with y'all. That's what you over here. All right, we need to do our hair. So I'm going to stop getting on that rant because I could go for a long time because I think the overall consensus is just feeling confused and not knowing what forever holds and especially like career-wise what forever holds. And I want it to be this having like all these worries about it so yeah tell me in the comments if you relate so i can feel less alone and maybe you feel less alone by me talking about this i really love isabella's vlogs i'll put them down below for like post-grad comfort she keeps it really real and shares her struggles and just the kind of the struggles of like adjusting to this new life without being a student and not having like everything 100 percent figured out all the time so yeah anyways <laughs> we're gonna do our hair i'm so thankful for my life right now and my feelings of like worry and stuff isn't because i'm not thankful for my life right now i love my job and everything right now and so i just want to keep making it work and i spiral sometimes about it all and i just want to be honest about that instead of just you know creating this aesthetic morning routine where everything just looks so beautiful and perfect and you guys think that i'm like 100 percent of the time like so confident and fired up about everything i am but there's also like a lot of other parts especially self-employment but i think any employment after college and adjusting to this huge shift and what your entire life has been up until this point to now it's all on you so all right let's do our hair i have been using this heritage little curler lately i love it it's like a straightener but then it's the shape of like a curl barrel and it has this i've been loving it so we're gonna do a pretty simple hair moment today because tomorrow when i'm filming this is valentine's day and i do have a date so i want to like have hair wash morning tomorrow so that i really am looking like fresh and clean and you know i just want to be looking my best for video so today we're doing a little more casual but this product i've been loving it's a heritage dry shampoo i got a pr package from them this isn't sponsored but i genuinely use so many of the products and i love that it's affordable because along the lines of that rant we just went on this guy life is so expensive and you don't realize how expensive it is just to like be a real person and i feel like i leave the house and i spend 100 bucks so but i mean like hair care products and just like self-care products that are affordable for me has been huge so i'm really glad i got to try all these because they'll be what i'll be repurchasing because i can afford them so we love that also this heat protectant spray i've been trying to be better about this i think we're gonna do a half up with a bow it's in my look these past few days because it's really good for greasy hair so let's see and we're gonna put another pink bow in because it's love week it's february like you gotta lean into it so let's do a time lapse me doing my hair because i haven't really showed how i've been curling it and stuff on any of my social medias just in case y'all are curious so yes
of buzzing noise. I'm leaving this on because I might have to slow down some touch ups, but I've been loving to use this Go Big Plumping Treatment after I like lightly curl it since this is more of like a relaxed curl vibe that I've been doing. I've also been loving a hop up because I feel like it allows me to keep my hair out of my face, which I feel like in turn makes me feel more productive and like I can get things done, but it still like looks more like I did my hair than if I like put it up in a bun, you know? Right, so here's our little bow moment. And then I kind of comb it out. And then I've been finishing off lately with this Argan Oil Elixir. All right, besties, a hair look is complete. See how it just looks like a little bit more put together? Also, it takes like half the time because you're curling like, well, I don't have very much hair, but I'm curling like four pieces of hair since most of it is in the half up. So I'm gonna quick get dressed for the day because like I said, we're filming. If I wasn't filming today, I would put on a sweat set for sure. I might put something together that's like a good like medium because I'm just filming like a YouTube vlog. So it's not anything too serious, but, and it's not like for an ad or anything. So I'm gonna go do that and I'll catch up with you guys. And that's the last stop of my morning. All right, I am dressed for the day. I'm aware that I like way overwear the screen set, but it's just so comfy. It's like PJs, but it's real people clothes that I can wear out. So this is the vibe. I think it looks cute with the pink little bow we have going on and my Anna Luisa jewelry. I need to go put some hoops in. I'm gonna do that really quick. All right, besties, I added these Anna Luisa earrings. I think they're the perfect touch. I just feel a little bit more put together now, but I am gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. I'm gonna get after it today. We are letting go of self-doubt, chasing our dreams. Thank you all for listening to that rant. I'm doing everything I can to change that mindset and turn it around and work hard to keep creating this dream life that I've always wanted and making it reality. I also heard a quote recently. I think it was in Tessa Barclay's podcast, but it was that like, if you're always working towards living your dream life and seeing your dream life as your future, instead seeing your dream life as the process of being able to work towards that. So that's also a mindset I do want to work on. But yes, I'll see you lovely sunflowers somewhere else on the internet or in my next video. I love you guys so much. And be sure to leave a comment down below if you have any video requests for spring, the weather, it's getting warmer again. The vibes are just up. All right, I'll see you guys then. Mm -hmm, baby, it's true.